I'm there, sucking on her earlobe. It's great. I don't even know your name. I'm not a player, all right? I just cut a lot. See, my mind was telling me no, but my body, my body was telling me yes. I move on to the next phase and start sucking on her neck. She's like, hey, you cannot touch my neck. No, I bruise. Too easy. You cannot go there. What? You give me small kiss. Boof, I blow up like blowfish. You cannot touch my neck. Stay away, please. I can't suck on your neck. Mac makeup, girl. Google it. But if you want, I can give you hickey. Well, got some bad news for you. Uh, I can't get hickeys. My last girlfriend, she tried. For whatever reason, the skin around my neck is like really tough. So you can do whatever you want and I will not bruise. I'm like Wolverine. I have his mutant powers. I heal really quick. So I laid down and I'm just like, do your worst. You guys know that scene in Jurassic Park where they go to feed the Velociraptors and they lower that cow on the crane? That's what it was like up in my bedroom. We never even kissed on the lips. It was just a lot of passionate necking and sucking and stuff. I honestly was never gonna tell you guys this story, but, um... I mean, it doesn't have any, like, positive message anywhere in there. It's just kind of like one of those stories you share with your inner circle of boys. That kind of thing. So all of that died down, and we actually go back to watching what's left of this movie. The movie ends, and then she looks over at me and goes, <gasps> What? What's the problem? Oh my god. Your neck. I get up and walk into the bathroom, and as I'm walking in, I'm just like, my ex made 97 hickey attempts, and not once did it ever leave a <gasps> Oh my dear lord. From my left ear to my right ear on my neck was black, and on the edges of the black was purple. It had hashtags in there, it looked like somebody had clawed me, and then it dawns upon me, my parents are coming home tomorrow. Whoops! I'm not a player, alright? I just cut a lot. My mind was telling me no. My body was telling me yes. Sunday comes. My mom texts me. All right, honey, we're on the way home. And I'm like, while I was sleeping, a bear broke in and attacked me. I fought him off. So when you see me, don't be alarmed because I was mauled by a bear. So they come home. I hear the keys jiggling in the door, the door opens, and I commit to this. Okay, I'm not gonna hide, I'm gonna face this head on. I walk downstairs into the kitchen. What's up, guys? And my mom kind of just stops and like, gives me this really concerned look. Oh dang, the moment of truth. Are y'all about to laugh? Or am I in trouble? Like, what's the situation here? She laughed it off, gave me a hug. She looked at my dad like, have you seen your son's neck? And I was like, guys, I told you, I was mauled by a bear. I barely escaped with my life. And they both got a good laugh out of that. I'm not a player, all right? I just cut a lot. 